All praise to you, eternal God, and Jesus Christ, our Savior. Holy Spirit, three in one, our light and our salvation. Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is Night Prayer for Wednesday, July the 31st. It's the 10th week after Pentecost and week four in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 1, and Acts chapter 16, verse 16 to 24. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Blessed are they that walk not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful, but whose delight is in your law, and in your law do they meditate day and night. And they shall be like a tree planted by the rivers that brings forth fruit in due season. Their leaves shall not wither, and whatever they do shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind blows away. And therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For you know the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are they that walk not in the counsel of the wicked. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, beginning at verse 16. One day, as we were going to the place of prayer, we met a slave girl who had a spirit of divination and brought her owners a great deal of money by fortune-telling. While she followed Paul and us, she would cry out, These men are slaves of the Most High God who proclaimed to you a way of salvation. She kept doing this for many days. But Paul, very much annoyed, turned and said to the spirit, I order you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And it came out that very hour. But when her owners saw that their hope of making money was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace before the authorities. When they had brought them before the magistrates, they said, These men are disturbing our city. They are Jews and are devoting, are advocating customs that are not lawful for us as Romans to adopt or observe. The crowd joined in in attacking them, and the magistrates had them stripped of their clothing and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After they had given them a severe flogging, they threw them into prison and ordered the jailer to keep them securely. Following these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and fastened their feet in the stocks. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, Hide us under the shadow of your wings. 
Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We delight in your law, most high God, and walk in your ways. Grant us your blessings, and may all our endeavors find favor in your sight and prosper. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Alleluia, O oh, tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.